In today's episode, we'll show you how to answer a key question about your performance at work, plus three other very common native expressions in the English language. All right, welcome everybody to the Teaching Tuesday. Hey, Lindsay, how's it going? Hey, Gabby, what's up? Oh, not much. Cool. So we want to talk about some phrases from the last episode where we talked about our New Year's English reverse resolutions. (laughs) And the key question here was, how did it go? Mm -hmm. So we want to talk about what this question means and also how to answer it. So what does it mean if we say, how did it go? Yeah, so this question is pretty broad, right? Mm -hmm. So you could answer this in a number of ways, but basically it just means kind of what happened, right? And we want to know whether things went well or didn't go so well. Yeah, exactly. So how did it go? So what's one way? So if things went well, what are some ways that you might answer this? Great. Awesome. It was amazing. Went so well. Yeah. Right? If it was all right, we could say all right. We could say okay. Or not bad. Yeah, it was more or less. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and if it didn't go so well, if it's a thumbs down situation. Well, you know, we tend to put a positive spin on things anyway. So yeah. even if it was horrible, you might not want to say it was terrible. You could say, well, I'm sure next time will be better. Yeah, and just to note that that's also a very kind of American point of view, right? This is something yeah. that we do in the U.S. We like to to look on the bright side, as they say, it's actually an idiom in our in our uh, language. Yeah. Um, to look on the bright side, to kind of see the positive side of things, and uh, so just to, to to take note of that, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, <laughs> it could have been better, or it will mm-hmm. be better next time. Great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, those are several options that you could use to answer this question quickly. But if you want to go more in depth with your own answer and try this out related to something you've done, like a a meeting, a presentation, or talking about your year, Um, Lindsay has a special program to help you out with this. Yeah, so when you guys are actually going to try to really own your English skills and take your English to the next level, listening is a really key piece, but the other piece is practicing. Mm -hmm. And I know that a big problem that a lot of you guys have is the lack of opportunities to practice your English with native speakers. Is it true? Yeah. I think it's true. Yeah. So I'm working on a project called Speakative, and this is a, a new online platform that I'm creating to help you connect with native speakers and to practice your English after learning very specific vocabulary words. So if you want to check that out, I'll give you a session for free if you come over to www.speakative.com. That's S-P-E-A-K-A-T-I-V-E.com. So come on over there and I'll see you there. That sounds awesome. Yeah, thank you. I'm very excited about it. Very cool. Cool. So we covered that important question, how did it go? But we have three bonus phrases for you that we're going to quickly explain. Um, So what's the next one, Lindsay? Okay, so the next phrase is to give yourself credit. Mm, To give credit. So Mm -hmm. like to recognize your efforts. Yeah, credit is a positive thing. It's um, recognition, Mm -hmm. right? So give yourself credit. Sometimes it's hard to, as we said, it's hard to, you know, uh, recognize what you've done that's that's good. Um, To give yourself credit. Yeah, great. It's important. Um, The next phrase we have is to put a spin on something. It's kind of a cool phrase. Yeah, Yeah. if you put a spin on something, you're giving it your own unique uh, perspective or your unique thought. Um, putting a spin is just making something a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, kind of turning it. Sometimes it could be, yeah, a slight change or it could also be sort of turning it upside down and taking a reverse point of view on yeah. it. Yeah, so put a spin on it. Cool. And our last phrase today is a phrasal verb, taking off. So this can mean a few different things. We were talking about our podcast here. You guys are listening so much that the podcast and the downloads of the podcast is is really taking off. Yeah, that means it's succeeding. In this case, we're talking about we're having a lot of success with the podcast. Thanks to you guys. Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. So to take off. And it also could mean, right, so an airplane takes off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or like, hey, I'm taking off. I need to leave now. Yeah, or taking off your hat. There you go. Taking off your Your shoes. 
Yeah. So it's, yeah. It's phrasal verb has a lot of meanings. Or of uses. can you take 50% off? Right. Give me a oh good my deal. Gosh. How many meanings are there? There yeah, are a lot. <laughs> yeah. So the one we want you to focus on today is, as we just said, succeeding yeah. and surging. My career is taking, taking off. off. Great. Cool. <laughs> so we want to give you guys a chance just to repeat really quick. So repeat the phrases after us, please. First, how did it go? And to give credit. To put a spin on something. To take off. All right. Thanks, you guys.